What if all your solar and energy devices could talk to each other no matter the brand? And what if they could also respond to price signals from your energy provider, saving you money and even helping you earn? This isn't just a dream, it's the future. A future of smarter grid management, maximised renewable energy use and a more efficient and sustainable energy system. And it all starts with a groundbreaking global initiative called Mercury. Hi there, I'm Gary and welcome back to my channel, Gary Does Solar. I was invited to Manchester recently for the launch of the Kraken Technology Centre, a state-of-the-art centre which helps to shape the future of energy. For those of you who don't know, Kraken is a key part of the Octopus Energy Group, serving as its cutting-edge technology platform. That platform powers the operations behind Octopus Energy's innovative smart tariffs and customer service in the UK, as well as supporting a growing number of other energy companies all around the world. Kraken's new technology centre in Manchester aims to accelerate the energy transition by driving innovation with advanced technologies, which is great, but what really appeals to me is Kraken's emphasis on collaboration, bringing together brilliant minds and organisations to create meaningful change in the global energy landscape. Around 200 people attended the event, representing a diverse cross-section of the energy industry. And this included utility providers, industry leaders, analysts, equipment manufacturers, technology innovators and research organisations. And a special shout out to Sarah Go Green, Evie Nick and Mick Wall, the founder of Energy Stats UK, all of whom I had the pleasure of meeting in person for the first time. Now the main reason I attended this event was to hear about Kraken's groundbreaking new initiative called Mercury. Let's talk a bit more about that. Mercury is a global consortium designed to connect manufacturers of flexible low carbon technologies such as EV chargers, heat pumps, solar panels and home batteries with electric utility providers. Now rather than creating new technical standards, its goal is to establish guidelines and best practices that build on existing standards, ensuring a seamless interoperability between devices and energy grids. The approach aims to enable smarter grid management, maximise the use of renewable energy and improve efficiency in balancing supply and demand. And if it's done right, Mercury has the potential to empower consumers to save money, earn from all their energy assets and actively contribute to a cleaner, more sustainable energy future. And the name Mercury wasn't chosen at random either. In Roman mythology, Mercury is the god of communication, commerce and connection, known for his speed and ability to act as a messenger between realms. And these qualities perfectly align with the goals of Project Mercury, enabling seamless communication between devices, bridging manufacturers and energy providers, and facilitating an efficient flow of information across the entire energy ecosystem. Devram Selal, Chief Marketing and Flexibility Officer at Kraken, highlighted that Mercury draws inspiration from the success of universal standards like Bluetooth. Just as Bluetooth enables devices from different manufacturers to connect and work together seamlessly, Mercury aims to establish a similar framework for clean energy technologies like EV chargers, heat pumps, home batteries and grid infrastructure. To best describe the value of Mercury, here are a couple of examples. Firstly, imagine a sunny and windy day when solar panels and wind turbines are generating more energy than the grid needs. To manage this surplus then, the grid sends out a price signal to all Mercury-enabled devices, offering low-cost or even free electricity to encourage greater energy usage, essentially to increase demand against that available supply. In response, EV chargers automatically begin charging vehicles while home batteries store the excess energy for future use. Heat pumps ramp up to preheat water or warm homes efficiently, making the most of the abundant cheap energy available. And smart appliances like dishwashers and washing machines start their cycles at this time, optimising energy use during the low cost period. The result is transformative. Instead of paying solar and wind farms to stop producing, the surplus energy is instead efficiently absorbed across millions of homes. This not only stabilises the grid and saves consumers money, but it also ensures that all renewable energy is used to its fullest potential. Now imagine a very different scenario. It's a freezing evening and households all across the country are using a lot of heating, lighting and cooking appliances. The grid is under immense pressure, with demand exceeding the available supply of electricity. 
This is where Mercury-enabled devices step in to ease the strain. The grid sends out a high price signal to encourage reduced consumption. EV chargers temporarily pause charging, prioritising grid stability. Home batteries respond automatically by discharging their store energy back into the grid, not only boosting supply but providing consumers with a valuable export payment in return. Meanwhile, heat pumps and smart thermostats make small adjustments to heating, slightly reducing energy consumption without compromising comfort. The outcome is clear. The grid remains stable, blackouts are avoided, and consumers save money or even earn, all without any effort on their part. It's a win for everyone. The Mercury Initiative got off to a strong start at the event, with several major organisations already on board, as you can see here. These early adopters span key sectors including energy providers, equipment manufacturers and technology innovators, setting a strong foundation for the initiative's success. And actually, for equipment manufacturers, signing up to Mercury should be an obvious and easy win. With minimal software development, their products can meet varying regulatory requirements, such as grid-dependent disconnection, without needing tailored versions for different markets. Even more impressively, their products will become part of a powerful and interoperable ecosystem that consumers trust, not only for maximising their savings and earnings, but also for delivering environmentally optimised performance. If Mercury succeeds then, and I hope it will, it won't be long before consumers actively seek out the Mercury stamp on products and discount those products without it. But you know, Mercury's success is by no means guaranteed. There's a major hurdle to overcome. I can see the benefits for utility companies. With Mercury, they gain the ability to manage distributed energy resources across millions of homes, meeting the unpredictable demands of the grid more effectively as renewables take up an increasing share of the energy mix. And the benefits for manufacturers are clear. Simplified production, global compatibility and future-proof products. But what about the benefits for consumers? The promised savings and even potential earnings sound logical and appealing at first glance, but how will they hold up years from now? I can already see the risk of those financial benefits being eroded over time. And if you don't believe me, just look at what's happening in the demand flexibility service market in the UK. During the winter trials over the last couple of years, consumers could expect to receive a payment of up to 15 times the normal import rate when they cut down their energy use or exported energy from their battery. But now that the service has received the green light to go ahead all year round, those rates have reduced quite a lot, to the point where it's no longer financially worthwhile for consumers to take part. It's such a shame, and I'm worried that Mercury might go the same way. For Mercury to succeed, the initiative must keep a laser focus on delivering real and tangible benefits for consumers. Without that, it's all for nothing in my view. Bringing consumers along for the journey, ensuring that they see, feel and trust in these benefits is essential for driving the momentum that Mercury needs to thrive. I see Mercury as a crucial and promising initiative with the potential to transform the way in which we use and manage energy globally. And so I'll be closely following its progress, keeping you updated along the way. I'd love to hear your thoughts and any concerns that you might have, please share them in the comments and I'll make sure that your feedback is shared with those driving the initiative. Thanks for watching and if you found this video informative, please give it a like, it really helps. And if you enjoy the topics I cover, don't forget to subscribe as well. And if you hit that bell icon, you'll not only stay updated, but you'll also help my videos reach more people. And finally, if you're in the UK, you can earn yourself £50 by switching your energy provider to Octopus Energy using my referral code here. By doing so, you'll not only support this channel, as I'll also receive £50, but you'll be backing Octopus Energy and their efforts to drive forward the energy industry with initiatives like Mercury. Until next time then, cheers.